Matera is one of the oldest cities in the world and is located in Basilicata, one of the lesser known regions of Italy. Overlooking the Ionian Sea to the east, it borders Puglia to the north and Calabria to the south. One of the main and many fascinating attractions of Matera are the so-called Sassi di Matera that are sure to enchant visitors. The Sassi di Matera are houses stacked on top of each other and joined together by winding streets and stairways. These are literally built into the rock and the top of the mountain which earned the city its inclusion in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1993. This video about Matera will provide a guide to the following. What to do in Matera and in the area surrounding Matera. What to taste in Matera. This video will outline some of the places that you should not miss at Matera. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified about upcoming free walking tours around several historic centers around Italy, Malta, Spain and other places in Europe. Now let's dive in the things that should not be missed at Matera. When speaking of Matera, one cannot fail to mention the famous Sassi, which have made the city famous all over the world. Viewing Matera is already enough to justify a trip to Basilicata, the region of Italy where the Sassi of Matera are located. The term Sassi in this case means in fact inhabited stony districts. In addition to the houses, a series of churches are also carved into the rock. Matera, the city of Sassi, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Matera territory preserves evidence of human settlements dating back from Paleolithic times, the original urban nucleus, which developed from the natural caves, carved into the rock, and subsequently modeled in increasingly complex structures within two large natural amphitheaters, which are the Sasso Cavieso and the Sasso Barisano. The Sasso Cavieso and the Sasso Barisano together with the Civita district formed the urban core at the time. The Sassi di Matera constitute the historic center of Matera in Basilicata. According to UNESCO, this is the most exceptional and intact example of troglodyte settlement in the Mediterranean region, perfectly adapted to its soil and ecosystem. The first settlement dates back to the Paleolithic, while the following ones illustrate a significant number of phases in human history. Matera is a city with a fascinating and complex history, a city of contrasts, a fusion of landscapes, civilizations, and cultures. From the rock civilization to the advent of the Normans, onto Romanesque, to the Renaissance, and to the Baroque, the last eight centuries of construction of the city have tried to shape and overcome the natural resistances of the pre-existing rock habitat, because Matera is at the center of an incredible rocky landscape. Matera is a very popular destination for filmmakers, in fact, at the Sassi di Matera, important films such as The Passion of Christ by Mel Gibson and The Gospel According to Matthew by Pier Paolo Pasolini have been fined. Matera today offers its visitors the fascinating sensation of discovery. Visiting the Sassi di Matera is something spectacular, it is rich in history and there are many things to visit. As already mentioned, the Sasso Cavieso is one of the two Sassi di Matera and is an ancient district carved into the limestone and is structured on several levels. In the past, these caves were houses. Among the most significant monuments present in the Sasso Cavieso, we remember the Church of San Pietro Cavieso, the Rock Church of Santa Lucia del Malva, founded by a Benedictine community around the 8th century, the Church of Madonna del Idris, which leads to the Crypt of San Giovanni in Monteran. Rich in remarkable frescoes from various eras, the Barbarian Cemetery in the Malva district and the four rock churches of the Convicinio di Sant'Antonio. Very similar to the Sasso Cavieso, there is the Sasso Barisano. The facades of the Sasso Barisano buildings are much more refined from an architectural point of view. In the Sasso Barisano we point out instead the Church of San Pietro Barisano, one of the largest churches in Matera carved into the rock, the Church of the Madonna del Virtu, which was part of an ancient monastery, and the Church of S. Agostino, built in 1591 in Baroque style. My channel has videos discussing what Baroque style is all about so subscribe to my channel now to learn about this artistic movement. The Cathedral of the Sassi of Matera is built in the Apulian Romanesque style built in 1268-70. The main facade is characterized by a rose window, Below the rose window there is a statue of the Madonna della Bruna. 
the cathedral houses a 16th century stone nativity scene, a 13th century fresco of the Madonna della Bruna, an altar dedicated to San Giovanni di Matera with a sarcophagus containing the remains of the saint, and the fresco of the Last Judgment. The bell tower is visible along many places in the historic center. It has a quadrangular shape, has seven bells tuned in E-flat, and is 52 meters high. The historic center of Matera, underground, is crossed by an aqueduct carved into the rock. The underground is made up of large water cisterns so big that they have been defined as water cathedrals. This complex water collection system starts from the Damonte Hill and crosses the entire historic center. Other places to visit in the Sassi di Matera are the Church of San Giovanni Battista, the Crypt of the Original Sin, the Rupe del Monteron, the Church of Santa Maria de Idris and the Church of San Giovanni in Monteron. The province of Matera is rich in natural parks, ideal places for excursions to discover the rich local fauna. In all the reserves it is possible to organize excursions by bicycle or on horseback, it is of course suitable for trekking where you can immerse yourself in the atmosphere of these fascinating places. But the province of Matera is also the ideal place for those who enjoy a holiday in the sun. Matera is close to the Ionian with its 30 kilometers of coast with wide beaches that are the of locals. The province of Matera has many specialities that are similar to the neighboring regions of Puglia and Calabria. These include reikiete with turnip greens, broccoli, cauliflower bread crumbs and sultanas. Chili pepper is widely used in the kitchen, as in neighboring Calabria. A traditional dish of Matera is cooked figs, a sort of compote made with figs. A variant of this traditional product is the cooked prickly pear. There is no shortage of traditional dishes linked to religious events. Typical Easter period dishes in Matera are the perkduns, small pieces of pasta seasoned with cooked wine. Lamb and sheep meats are also widely used in this area. Trying out local specialty cheeses is of course a must. This includes local ricotta, pecorino, and burrata. Try them with the fig compote I mentioned earlier. You will thank me later, a very particular dessert worth trying is made of a mix of wheat, chocolate, grains of pomegranate, walnuts, and cooked wine. You will also be spoiled for choice when choosing wines including Sangiovese, Moscato, and Malvasia and a particular spirit made of an elixir of walnuts. You will surely be spoiled for choice. In the description below I am leaving for you a few links how you can save money on your travels worth checking out as you can honestly save a substantial amount of money on your travel expenses. See you soon in my next video.